it's so hard to get out of bed in the morning. Will you wake up your Westies, please? Let's start this day and get this vlog started. Good morning and welcome to another day in the life vlog. My vlogging style is a little bit different. I treat the camera as if it's you, a human being, hanging out with me all day long. So for the most part it's going to be me talking and showing things from my point of view if I can. I'm about to get ready for the day, start my morning skincare routine. I do want to take a quick moment and let you know that a very small portion of this video is sponsored by Neutrogena. You will see what I'm talking about when we get to the very end of the post because it is something new I've been doing in my evening skincare routine for about a month or so, I guess. I'm losing track of time. But you will hear more about Neutrogena and the two products that I've been using, not on my face, but on my neck and chest and there is information down in the description box if you wanna learn more about those products. But for now, let's start with the morning skincare routine. I'm not going to film that because it's not all that entertaining. Well, my day is not entertaining. I mean, I'm just going about my regular day. But if you're curious to know what my current morning skincare routine looks like for the most part, it's pretty much the same. I will link that video that I did back in December up here and then down in the description box. All right, let's get this day officially started. No, 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 I'm putting the steps on there. I'm just gonna climb up. I don't wanna. I just wanna. I don't wanna have the ability to spend some time thinking about the height and everything. I know. I just wanna hold it up and then maybe we can make it like we got on there. I don't know, maybe that's not gonna work because it's too far away. Exactly. Is it too far away? It's too far away. So you can do this because you're capable. <laughs> do you think like right there? Too far I think the canvas isn't perfectly flat. I think it might have a slight warp to it and there's texture on the wall. So after all that, we're gonna just hang it with nails, but we're gonna deal with that later. I have some other things to check off the box. I just added another phone call meeting with Gigi after my two Amazon Zoom calls today. So picture hanging may come later and I think I'm gonna have to take the pedicure off the list. It's not like an indulgence, like, ooh, let's get a pedicure. I'm wearing open-toed shoes for the shoot next week, so I've got to get my toes done because I tried and it does not look good. But that'll be for tomorrow. Ready to get to work for the day? Kind of been working anyway. Things I haven't filmed. I filmed a few stories, uploaded those, uploaded some things to Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for my Nordstrom collaboration, so I got those requirements done and turned in and what else have i done answered a few corporate emails type things i'm not going to go into all the makeup i'm wearing today it will be listed down in the description box under today's makeup but i wanted to share this with you this is the newest natasha denona i guess like five palette and it's called ayana and i'm wearing pretty much everything except that darkest brown 
uh, on the lids and I absolutely love it. I ordered it from Amazon of all places. So I will link it to Amazon and Beautylish if they're carrying it as well. But Amazon had it in stock and got it here the fastest. So it's the same price in both places. So that's where I went. Let's go get ready. Dogs are having their brunch. And yesterday I selected which Instagram posts I want to talk about and made notes this time because there was so much. Let me turn off my, there we go. I really need to do better about remembering to turn the lights off. Oh my goodness, I'm like a teenager. We'll clean all that up later. So I don't often have notes, like almost never, but when I'm going through all this material and I don't want to forget anything, um, I have made a couple of notes on each outfit. So just gotta plug everything in, turn on the camera, and start the day. And we are filming in the morning, so look at all that natural light. It almost might be too much exposure. Let's see how it goes. Okay, what am I wearing today? I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Ayana eyeshadow palette, um, L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Radiant Foundation. I'm wearing Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner, L'Oreal Colorish in Sparkling Peach. Blush is both L'Oreal bronzers. Highlighter is Buxom White Russian. Blush is L'Oreal Rosewood. Mascara, it doesn't matter, it's L'Oreal Age Perfect, or L'Oreal Air Volume. Amazon Dress. Kendra Scott Silver Hoops, the newest ones. And that's it. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. It is another look back at some of my favorite Instagram outfit posts. Outfit? Okay. Three, two, one. Hey everyone, I am. <sighs> Three, two, one. Hey everyone, today I am sharing 10 of my favorite Instagram outfit posts. Like I've said before in previous versions of this video, I know that not all of you are following me on Instagram for various reasons. I do do a wrap up of the week's Instagram posts in my weekly Friday newsletter. If you're not already signed up to receive that, you can click the link up above and there's also a link at the very top of the description box. So my morning stuff took longer than I anticipated. It always does. I have about 20 minutes for it to hop on a Zoom call. Today is Tuesday, it's low carb day. So I have some leftover taco meat. We had tacos Sunday afternoon. Um, so I just heated up the taco meat, threw in some cheese, a little bit of guac, really just smashed up avocados, a little bit of Greek yogurt. I'm going to wolf that down. Um, more often than not, when I am eating, you ask me how I get all my reading in. So I'm just gonna sit here, read on my iPad. I need my lemonade and uh, just tune out for about 15 minutes before I have to step into my office and jump on some back-to-back -back Zoom calls. Amazon Prime Days are coming. I'm working a lot with directly with Amazon um, this month, and so I have one Zoom call about info about the Amazon live streams for Prime Days, and then the next one is about what Amazon Home stuff will be featured during the Prime Days, so. Kind of exciting to get a little inside info. And I don't have to be on camera for that, but I do have to take notes and be focused. So that's why I'm eating lunch beforehand. Got my headphones in. Michael is in the dining room tutoring Shane on his current accounting homework because Shane has hit a wall. Michael hasn't taken accounting till since like 1992. So if you hear screaming in the background, it's the two of them going at it. Any accountants in the house? Anyway, uh, I shall be here taking notes for the next two hours, so I'll pop by when I'm done. Can't wait to share all this information with you. Just signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't until the 21st, sorry. Okay, that first call was a little bit of a boondoggle. Does, anybody, does this ever happen to anyone? You are invited to attend some sort of educational type thing, whether it's for your job or a hobby or what have you, and you're excited about it because you're hoping to pick up some new information, but 90% of the presentation is just going over basic stuff that anyone who's already doing or interested in that activity would know. That's basically what this last Amazon 
live call was. And then my home one got canceled because I didn't have the link. So I think I'm gonna go try and get that pedicure in. I also moved my four o'clock call to later in the week. So my afternoon just opened up. I think I'm gonna go get that pedicure knocked off. Just looking around, shoes would be good. And then I come home, work on the newsletter for a few hours before I figure out what the heck we're having for dinner. What are good shoes to wear to a pedicure? I guess it doesn't matter because I'm getting shellac. Here's the current shoe sitch. Um, I need some more summery. I don't need, okay. I would like some more summery ones. Here's some more slides. You know, I still love, these are my favorite. I'm wearing them, I don't care. These are from last year. I can't link them because Scoop has not re-released them, but these are from last year, and they look really good with black and gray, I think, personally. So this is what I'm wearing. All right, let's go fix these toes. Back home, I always have buyer's remorse when I get shellac on, well, anywhere, but particularly my toes because it never comes out exactly the way I want and it's shellac, so it's even more expensive and I'm stuck with it for a really long time because it's shellac. So, got a French manicure, not from someone I normally go to, and I guess it's a French pedicure if it's on your toes. It's not exactly what I would have picked, but it is what it is, right guys? You wanna go outside? Okay, that face. Sometimes at this time of day, there's birds on the hot tub and Rowdy likes to stalk them. See any birds? He's looking for the birds. That's why he's walking slowly. He's stalking. That is a stalk. He's on the hunt. caught birds twice. I'm, I'm really, I know Mimi's like, ooh, what do you see? What do you see? <laughs> so the rain has been hellacious, but the good news is my yard is so very green right now, which is a good thing because we were a little concerned about doing an outdoor shoot next week. So the brand and I decided to move the shoot to my house because there's just a lot of places I can shoot inside the house out all over the yard all kinds of places so and all the looks i thought i had chosen they picked other looks <laughs> that's how it goes good news is got a few new outfits just for the fun of it Whew, okay time to freshen up touch up a little bit and i have to do a sponsored post for l'oreal for later this month so i gotta take a picture for that and do record a few story frames and then it's time to go sit my butt back down there and do a couple hours of work on the newsletter and answer comments from this morning's video and emails. Now the fun part. I shot the pics real quick with Michael. I kind of roamed around the house looking for the best light this time of day. I think we nailed it. I've already edited that photo and it's ready to go. Now the harder part, filming the story. It's not hard to talk about one of my all-time favorite foundations. The hard part is I have to fit it into four story frames. And as you can tell by my videos, brevity is not my strong suit. So the first trick is to figure out where to put the camera so my background is pleasing, it's not distracting, and I'd ideally like to be able to prop it up somewhere. But when I hold my camera, when I put it down where I want it right here, the ceiling fan's at the top of the frame and it would be really distracting. So it looks like the, oh no, rowdy. You can't be in the video, Rowdy. <laughs> I'll just stand in front of him. Um, it looks like the best thing to do is just hold it. I have a new loopy case, by the way, and I never thought I'd like loopy cases, but I really do. And I have a discount code. I don't think it's an affiliate link as far as I know. It's just a discount code. So um, I'll put that down in the description box. But anyway, I'm going to hold it and rest it on the top of on my dresser so it doesn't wobble. It would be helpful if I had the foundation in hand. And... Let's do this. 
I can't film it while you're watching because there's, it's uh, time sensitive and this video is gonna go up before the story does. So I will see you on the other side of the filming. I'm just typing out some of the stuff for the newsletter. I have it down to kind of a science. I just duplicate the same template from the previous week and swap out the stuff. Let me show you an example. So this week on YouTube, that doesn't change, but obviously this was not this week. So all I do is click on that. And then this is very user friendly. I X this out. And then all I need to do is add and see so what immediately removes that. Then I just have to add, let's go to channel comments, content. What was the, oh yes, relationship advice. Get the shareable link. Click back over to Flowdesk. Put that in here. And that populates right there. And then I just do the same thing. That button is hyperlinked, so I swap out the link. Put in the new one. And we're good to go. So obviously then I have to rewrite the little summary underneath it, but it's so I don't have to recreate the wheel. If you have not already subscribed to my newsletter, this is generally what it looks like. Obviously this is from old stuff, but you get a wrap up of the YouTube videos of the week, a wrap up of all of the Instagram posts. Um, now I have a whole section on Amazon since I'm doing live streaming and doing a lot of work with them. So it's just one more place to find me. Then I try to highlight at least one really good sale of the week. And then underneath that, I'll list not every sale, but the ones that I think you would genuinely want to try out or check out. And then a recipe of the week. And I always end with the dog picture. Look at the faces. And you might not believe this, but if you hit that button, it'll take you right to my Miss Gold Girl email and it goes right into my inbox. And I love hearing from y'all. So, all right, I'm gonna go swap out a few things that I already have done. And that way I only have to uh, get up at six o'clock in the morning on Friday and add the last video of the week because I can't add the link to the video till it actually goes live. So my Friday video will go live at six o'clock in the morning. So once that's live, like 6.15, I'll get up, put in the last few links and then hit send. Not too late to sign up. One of the great joys of being an empty nester who doesn't have to make dinner for their family anymore and whose husband doesn't really care what we eat either is sometimes you can just make whatever. So you know, it's a low carb day. I don't care. I am, where to go? I just, okay, there it is. I love these. If you're looking for something gluten-free and delicious, feel good foods, chicken pot stickers. So very good. I think I actually just talked about these in my, one of my most recent videos. Um, this is the chicken version. They have vegetable and they have pork. I'm not a big pork fan in general, although I love prosciutto. I don't know what that is about, but Anyway, um, I do not make these according to the directions. I defrost them for two minutes under a damp paper towel, and then I fry them in a little vegetable oil on the skillet. So I'm gonna split this box with Michael, have some leftover salad, and then I think it'll be time to wash up and say goodnight. This is a real life vlog. I do not stage events to entertain you guys, so this is a pretty typical day, barring the pedicure. My life is not all that exciting but it's a very content, happy life. I don't know that I would really want exciting. Kitchen door. All right. Come on, Mimi, you too? She's like, hell no, it's hot out. Memes? No? Okay. Oh, do you want to, and then he just stands there, like what? You didn't really want to go out, did you? Well, what are you doing? No? <gasps> bird, get the bird. A lot of you would never see Wrigley because sometimes he is under our bed. We recently got a new coffee table, which was the other place that he likes to hang out, but now that he can't hang out there, it's generally where you will find him. My little bear. That's my little corner. I like to bring my laptop, which I was just doing, and sit and do work right there. All right, I know it's still light outside, but it is getting close enough to eight o'clock that I think I can justify taking off my makeup and Getting into my PJs. I am gonna start my nighttime routine and not film it because it's just kind of, I don't know. I don't, but 
there is a part that's new that I want to talk about and that actually is also the sponsored part so let me wash my face and apply some of my nighttime routine and then I'll show you what I've been doing new I tip it the last two almost two full months now and it's from the neck and chest area which is an area sadly I have definitely been neglecting so I'm hoping this is going to improve it face it's all cleansed, serumed, moisturized, all that good stuff. You know I've been using a prescription strength retinoid for my face and I love it, but it is too strong for my neck and my chest. They're, for some reason, totally different reaction than what happens from the chin up. So, I decided, I, well, first I realized and I think this is mostly because I sleep on my side, so I'm squishing my chest, but I'm starting to see, let me move my necklace out of the way. I'm starting to see like wrinkles and crepiness here. And I've always had these lines, but they're getting worse. And I don't know why I haven't been good about bringing the skincare from my face down onto my chest, but we're gonna rectify that. So I have two products. I've talked about these before many times. I'm gonna talk about them again. They're both from Neutrogena. They're both part of their Rapid Wrinkle Repair line. And this is the moisturizing cream that has retinol SA in it. And this is the Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Oil. And this also has the retinol in it. This is a little more concentrated. You can actually use these together if you want a little more oomph. So I'm gonna put the oil on my chest and then I'm gonna moisturize with the cream everywhere. So you only need like a few drops. It comes with the little dropper attached, kinda nice. And then I'm just gonna pat a little bit and then rub. It's almost like um, a dryer oil, so you don't feel greasy. It absorbs very quickly into the skin. So that is already in. And see, I'm not shiny. Maybe a little. No, not really shiny. Okay, now I'm gonna take the cream. You can see there's quite a divot in there. I've been going a little nuts with this. And this is probably even more than I need. I'm gonna dot here and here, and I'm just gonna massage that in. Probably helpful not to have a necklace on, but whatever. I'm lifting up. I have definitely seen this line here diminish a little bit. Some of the fine lines I was seeing in my cleavage area are far less noticeable and also very good. No irritation, no redness, not even tingling. That is my newest addition to the nighttime routine. It's really, the face is the same, but incorporating those two products into my chest and neck. I think it's looking, it's looking pretty good. All right, let's get in the jammies and let's settle down together and watch a little TV. Okay, being the old married people that we are, this is part of our routine. So we're both in our jammies and these are also new. These are from Walmart. They're not as cool as the Soma ones, but this is the only pair of pajamas I have that's a little tank and matching shorts. So it, they're literally cool. So before we get started with watching Lucifer, we like to read a little bit. Or I actually have no idea what he's doing. What are you doing, babe? I'm reading something. He's reading on his phone. So I've got my book here, and you, oh, she, and then I've got memers right there. I'm in my little corner. That, by the way, is our new coffee table. And then Riggs is right here, and I'm pretty sure that Rowdy, yeah, he's right behind us. I hear the pitter patter of a little feet, meaning Shane's feet, which I think are the largest feet in the family. So it's just a saying. Anyway, I'm gonna go see what he's up to, and then we'll check back in. Hi, Papa. Hey, folks, it's a workbench first. It needs to be storage just as much. Space is tight. If it raises here, Ooh. you'd be able to find this. Like you that. think your dog loves you? Nice. There it is. Nice. This will help make it. So it looks like an if otter. Elizabeth and Shannon need to build something. They can just go up there and do it. Yes. Right, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Does he love me? He loves you the best. I think you love him the best, too. Oh, I do. Elizabeth oh. wrote a script a for a play that she wanted so badly to wear the theater. Well, that's it, guys. Back where I started. I'm calling it a night. I'm in the bed. Michael's just letting Rowdy out. This is my view. 
They won't stay there, of course. Uh, Wrigley might, but Mimi ends up migrating to the little pillow we keep right here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. I wasn't particularly excited, but it's a pretty typical day in my life if you ever wonder what I do all day. Sometimes there's a little more house cleaning and a little bit more cooking, but this is pretty much how most days go. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for being here. I am so tired, I don't even know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna say goodnight, and I'll see you in the next video.